Boy, oh boy, do I miss seeing Debo highlights every week. We got to wait a little bit, but he's back with us right now. Debo, how are you? I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. How are you feeling? Talk to me. I'm, I'm feeling really good right now. Okay, you got a smile. I see Tyshawn's not here. Where's my Where's my friend Tyshawn? I'm, I'm actually watching him on the camera sleep so he don't wake up. Okay, so he's sleeping. Well, I, I, won't, I won't start screaming about anything that's gone on he's, in the NFL the past the, couple of weeks. Um, he's in the back. Did he dress up for Halloween? What was he? Uh, he was Blippy. He's a what baby. What is that? What's Blippy? Wow, you know, well, I oh, don't know. No, what is that? I'm going to Google it right now. What is it, Blippy? Yeah. Tell me about it's a, Blippy. It's a, it's a big YouTuber um, who's like teaches kids stuff, and he's a big dinosaur fan, so Blippy do stuff of like dinosaurs and stuff, and you know, he wanted to be Blippy, so you know, he was the cutest Blippy it's ever. A, it's a cute fit. Did he have the orange bow tie? I'm seeing this right now. I bet this Blippy guy is worth like like a uh, hundred million dollars. I've never even heard of him. <laughs> Unbelievable. Blippy learns about fruits and vegetables. <laughs> Man, I think I got. Did you dress uh, up? I got a. Let's see. Here he is, right here. Let's see. Oh, oh, Little that's Blippy. too cute, Devo. <laughs> and I, adorable. Does he like fruits and vegetables like Blippy does? Um, he really uh, a real picky eater. Uh, the things that you would think a baby his age you eat, he he doesn't eat. Like he like like chips and salsa and like dumplings and the total stuff that you would never think a baby his age would be. Um, yeah, I actually like I like that menu. That sounds great. You know he who likes wants fries. to? He's not too much of a <laughs> chicken tender guy. <laughs> Do you know who likes to eat quarterbacks? Chase Young. Yeah. I knew you <laughs> was going just, with that. Let's I knew just, you listen, was going with that. You, you, you know what we got to talk about. I mean, this is a big addition to the D-line. Talk to me about what the building is like. How is it? I mean, it is, uh, you know, um, it's just crazy. All the guys that we got on the D-line and just to add him and, you know what I'm saying, such an impact on his career that he done had so far just for him to be a part of the team is kind of, you know what I'm saying, amazing. Just, you know, we already got good guys out there on the D-line right now. Just to add him, it's just like an extra little up that I think we need. Have you met him? Have you talked to him yet? Uh, yeah, I actually talked to him. Uh, I actually called him, like, after I got the news because I was out there on the field working out. I was like, bro, you ready to come out here? He's like, man, I was just on the massage table and just get a call and I'm going to the Niners. He's like, shit, I'm ready to go. I bet he's super excited and he gets to reunite with his former teammate, Nick Bosa. I mean, uh, what's uh, his reaction BRB, going to be? BRB, waking up. Be right back. Be right back. Give me a second. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, we just lost Debo. I guess we're going to have to either tap dance, which I can do, or Hamilton, who I see is on this. I I should see the Zoom call. Hamilton's down here. Uh, and we can bring him on. We got to ask him. Oh, Hammer's not on. Oh, I thought... I, I literally see Hammer in this box. I don't know why. I've never seen Hammer on the Zoom call before. But Hammer, don't pick your nose or do anything crazy. Uh, because I see you guys. We have Darius Butler on the show. What should I do? Should I bring you, hit you guys with some sleepers? I'm happy to do that. I would... <gasps> oh, don't be grumpy with me. I didn't wake you up. Did you wake up, Tyshawn? Say hey. Hi. Did you get yeah, good you Halloween candy? Any sugar? Oh my gosh, he's so cute, Debo. I can't. I can't. He's so cute. Um, Nick Bosa, how excited is he going to be about this edition? Um, I actually haven't talked to Nick uh, about it yet, um, but Nick is pretty the same and like mellow for us, whatever it is in life, you know, uh, whatever he's talking about. So he's like, yeah, man, uh, I think it's a great pick, man. Let's just get to work. <laughs> Okay, I think that's because he's changed since the Skims deal. When you saw <laughs> that deal come through, what were your thoughts? I I really didn't too much pay, pay no mind. I was just like, you know, uh, and then after the game, it was just like so blown up, and I was just like, all right, you you underwear model now. Look at look at this guy, Nick, man. <laughs> How did this go down in the locker room for real? Um, nobody was really talking about it. Really? Mm -mm. Okay, well that's good. Um, well, I'm glad he's like, you know, he hasn't changed to become super famous, right, Tyshawn? You see his face? He got 10 personalities. 
<laughs> um, I want to ask you a little, hi, I want to ask you a little bit about um, Jimmy Garoppolo, because we're talking trade deadline, we're talking about y'all adding Chase Young and how exciting that is, and that's amazing, but there, you know, there's a lot about Jimmy being benched for Aiden O'Connell. What did you make of this game that I'm sure you watched between him and Devontae Adams and some of those missteps? Um, actually, didn't even watch it, to be honest with you. Oh. Um, I was chilling in the house playing with this guy, but... Uh, I, it ain't too much I could say about, you know, uh, somebody that's not part of our team no more. So I'm really not going to speak on it. Okay. So, so if you, if, if you, if you had an issue with him, did he come to you ever and talk about it? Does he have that like to go to Devonte and sort of work it out or what do we oh, need yeah, to know? For sure. Jimmy, Jimmy definitely yeah. has that uh, ability. So I'm pretty sure that he's trying to communicate the best way he can with, you know what I'm saying? With how the play has been, um, however that's been, but, I mean, you see it all in the media that uh, Devontae is unhappy and this and that third, but uh, we only control the things that we can control over here. And how's it going? Because obviously a hot start to the season, some adversity lately. Has, has you know, people want to say the locker room's changed, it's changed, they don't have it, there's some doubt that's creeping in. How are you guys handling that? Um, I don't think it changed at all. Um, as we look at ourselves and we, and, and you know, the coach is coming down on us hard and we got to be, even harder on ourselves for is like losing three straight. That's just like not our culture and that's not like what we do. So um, yeah. we kind of, we kind of had a meeting. Um, everybody had a meeting on like Tuesday it was like, yo, like I, I know everybody tired and fatigued through going for so long. It was good that we get a buy like in the middle of the season so we can come back fresh and ready to go. Cause we know what it takes and we got it. We know the next step that it's going to take for us to get where we want to be. Is it mostly health? Like if you were to like if you were to submit an answer on what is the biggest piece of adversity that y'all are facing right now, what is it? Um we just gotta get off the field and stay on the field. Um, simple as that. And you personally, health wise, any update? Everybody wants to know. I am ready to go. Yay! <laughs> Tyshawn, you yay! yay! Oh, he's like. Are yeah, you covering your ears, Tyshawn? You wouldn't do that to me, would you? No, 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 no. You, you want to? Oh, he's so no cute. I smell. can't. No I would never smell. go to work. You know, oh, there you. <laughs> 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 That's amazing. Okay, uh, we're just gonna. I see update. You know, we're just gonna do like little updates here. On I, I you know how Brock's doing. Obviously, yeah. it doesn't doesn't feel like he's felt right since that hard hit during that Browns game. He was put in concussion protocol after the Vikings game. You know, Bengals didn't exactly handle him with kid gloves last week uh, in in a loss for you guys that you really would have liked to bring home a win. How's he feeling right now? Um, one thing I like about Brock, uh, you know, with the guys that we have in our locker room, we, we do a great job of keeping his confidence up. And one thing that stood out to me um, about Brock after we lost to, to the Bengals that, you know, he take full responsibility in his actions and he know he got to play well. So he, you know what I'm saying, before we broke the huddle in the locker room, he's like, yo, guys, like, this was on me. Like, I got to be better. Um, and this is then the third. So that's one thing that we like about Brock is, like, he take full responsibility in his actions and he knows what he's capable of and he want to be the, uh, you know, he want to play the best of his ability every week. Do you think he should have played last week? Um, I think so. I think he was pretty good after watching practices and all that stuff. I thought Brock was doing a pretty good job. Well, I love hearing that. We had um, Taylor Luan came on our show this last week, and he sort of said that somebody, he wouldn't say who, that somebody said that Brock isn't the guy, that he doesn't. Let's take a look at it, actually. Do we have it? I have, from a reliable source that I'm not going to tell you, told me back in January, told me, said this to me back in January, Brock Purdy's not the guy. Maybe the boy starts playing a whole lot better, and I, I hope he does. But I, I was just told that he has aliens around him, and that's why he looks so good. But once there's enough film out there on him, people are going to know how to beat him. That's what I've been told, and that's what's happened the last three weeks. What do you think? <laughs> Let him talk. It, sounds, it seems like it seems like doubters are coming out more and more, but that's not the, the way you to are, handle the, 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 the better you are as a player, the more doubters and haters you have. Well, that's certainly, yeah, that's a good thing to say. Let him talk. Okay, so we're just going to let him talk. So we're not going to get, we're not going to fire back on that. Now, you do have a bye week. You mentioned it. And it is perfect. It's the perfect time for you to rest up, you to hang out with Tyshawn, trick or treat, do all those things. Not that he's trick or treating, he's too little. Um, how does Shanahan treat bye weeks? How do you handle it? Is he like a rest and reset guy or is he like a oh, yeah, he's, checking he's in with you? Uh, are you sending him, are you sending him selfies of your, of, of your body during the bye week? Hey, too? Uh, he's definitely a, a, a rest and repeat type of guy. 
Um, if I if I had to guess, Cabo uh, Cali, I mean, damn, Kyle is actually probably in Cabo right now, just chilling. Um, just you know, just taking a break because um, we was done Tuesday, and he just told everybody to get off their feet, get some rest, and just come back ready to work. I love that. Eagles play the Cowboys this Sunday. Debo, you looking forward to watching that one? Oh yeah, I'm tuning in. You know, I've been talking to my brother AJ, man. You know, he's he's super excited and he's ready to go like he's been for the past since the season started. What is going so he's crushing it? Those numbers I mean, this are crazy. Is not, this ain't this not nothing new for me. I I've been I didn't seen AJ do this at Ole Miss and you know since he's been in the league. So it's not like a shocking to me that the 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 level of play that he's playing at right now. Is it MVP level? Should he be the MVP, Devo? Hey man, hey. If I ain't out there, I, I I I get AJ all the time, any day. AJ should be the MVP. Are you hearing <laughs> that? Debo is saying that. I mean, the it, uh, yeah. Oh my God, man, he's he's balling right now. He's playing at a real high level. Amazing. Okay, we're gonna let you go. We know you got to hang out with you. Or, or should we do the Debo download? Let me ask. Let me ask them. Sorry, I'm not in my uh my studio. Okay, we're gonna show you some stuff. You and Tyshawn. It's the Debo download. We do it every time we have we have you on. Favorite uh, flavor Flav sung the national anthem apparently at the Milwaukee Bucks game this weekend. I never thought I would say that sentence. Take a listen to this. Oh, at the Flavor, 100%. Debo, should they bring him back to ever sing again? Should Flavor Flav ever sing ever again? That is Flavor. That's Flavor Flav. Like, that's just his personality. It's not going to change, you don't think. Like, since I was a kid, he had his own TV show. Like, he was always the same guy. <laughs> it was like, I Love New York or something like that. I forget what I forget what the show was called with the love, the love show that he was on. Tyshawn's yawning. You wanted to go back to bed. Um, <laughs> nah, if, you had to pick, if you had to pick one person to sing the national anthem at a home game, who would you pick? As a person, like as yeah. a player, or what do you mean, like not Blippy? Who you got? Who would you want to sing the national anthem? Tell him let you sing it. I Me? Mean? Tell Nobody him let wants my son that. sing it. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Ty should sing it. Not me. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Uh, this is what else has happened since we last saw you. Phillies, uh, oh, Kenny uh, Kenny Gainwell responded to a fan on Instagram at halftime after losing a fumble versus Washington, and Nick Sirianni was not happy. Do you blame him for clapping back at fans, or is it just the best thing to do to ignore? The best thing to do is not even respond. Don't even respond. And one, I don't That's know how, I, one, you know, um, I don't know how you can respond to somebody in the middle of a football game. It got to be like his manager or something. Somebody else is responding. Stop That's time. good intel there. Um, okay. And then Max Crosby bodied Jamison Williams. We don't want to show defensive players doing well to Debo, but he bodies Jamison Williams on this play on Monday night. Do we have this? And where do you rank him as one of the scariest defenders in the NFL? Hey, Max Crosby, one of them guys. I ain't going to lie to you. Like the 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 energy, like the passion, and like I've I've been, you know, um, I, I think we came out we came out together. Um, the, like mm. the passion that he has for for the game, and you know, we practice against the Raiders this this summer, and so like what you see in the game is what he do every day at practice, and it's just like, you know, it's it's not too much shocking because he's been doing it at a high level for a long time. I love that. All right. I'm going to sing the national anthem. I'm going to, I learned about Blippy today. We learned you're healthy. We learned that you're happy. You're going to rest and relax like Shanahan said to do during the bye week. And we'll talk to you next week. All right. All right. Thanks, Diva. Thanks, hey, Tyshawn. We'll be back. Say, bye. bye. We've got Darius Butler. Darius Butler, who's never, never brought one of his daughters on the show. Darius Butler never has introduced me to any, any of his daughters. And look at me and Debo. Look, look at that. We'll be back. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ooh. Sorry. Oh, to my to my left. Great. Oh, 
Oh, you want some sleepers? You're thirsty for some sleepers? Send that you up text. Go ahead for it, guys. There are lots of teams on the buy. There's four of them. So here we go. Up first, um, I'm going to submit Derek Carr. Why? Because I told you all Mark Davis loved him. And that's how this whole thing spiraled and Josh McDaniels lost the job. I'm telling you that's the truth. But after a rough start to the year, our guy Derek Carr has put up not one, not two, but three straight 300-yard showings. He's got the Bears defense. You know the drill. Next, how about um, Panthers running back? Chuba Hubbard, okay? They've got the Colts defense. We know about these defenses already. We know how generous they are, and they have given up the most points to running backs over the last five weeks. Finally, friend of the show, we know him, we love him, and you should too, at least for Weekend on Fantasy purposes, Nico Collins. He's got the struggling Bucks secondary. Bucks can't figure their secondary out. I don't know why, but he's coming off a pretty quiet week. He does get volume. That matters. And the Bucks are just like, hey, here's some fantasy points. Here we go. The Starbucks has the holiday cups already. It's the holiday season here. We're being very generous and gift wrapping fantasy points. There you have it. Three sleepers for week nine. No. Uh, no. What, how much time do we have? Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Um, give me one second to re-rack this here. Uh, 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 yeah, let's do it. Can I, can I go? Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest Up and Adams content right on YouTube.